Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Friday evening. Um, yeah, evening. <laughs> I'm doing better, of course. Um, I just had my second at home um, treatment of the antibiotic. Me and Johnny fumbled our way through number two. <laughs> we did better this time, but the figuring out which direction to turn this this little this little cap is was pretty much the bane of our existence <laughs> we did figure out how to flush it we had to flush it before and after the treatment and um i had to re i remembered to um uh let go of this little clippy thing so that um you know things will flow there's this little clippy thing that you have to you have to unclip so that things will go like they're supposed to and the first time yesterday i forgot to unclip that and we we were sputtering and and stuttering until i figured out that i was i was supposed to unclip that <laughs> it's good to laugh at myself because you know um laughter is the best medicine and uh that that's how i get through li life i rather laugh than cry so um anyway um i did some work in here i had had bought um uh, some cotton and then i had some cotton already uh i like to swap out my yarn what yarn scape <laughs> uh my my background that you, you know, that y'all get to see I like to swap it out a little bit um, as the seasons change, and uh, just do you notice? Know, let it let let y'all look at something else while you're listening to me talk. And um, so I brought out a bunch of my cotton, and you can't see it, but right under here is a bunch of the cotton that I've already shown y'all in videos. And um, and then I got some other Michaels um, fleck yarn right there, and then under there I got the. Uh, yarn that I bought from Premier a little while ago and um I got uh my new bougie yarn right here uh that I bought from Webbs not too long ago and um this cotton yarn that um I bought from uh Crochet and Agreement last year and so I got that I'm thinking about getting some more of that um but um hmm huh. hmm huh. I got mail. <laughs> Hold on a minute. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, there was something from Amazon. I ordered these little things to go on the back of my glasses. Uh, my, the ones that I use are, are wore out, and I need to replace them. And they're just things that help um, keep my glasses in place. Uh, these little plastic things here. They just fit on the back of your glasses. And, um... They're little plastic. They just fit. They just slip right on the, you know, the arm of your glasses, and then they keep it, keep them, and keep them on your face. <laughs> and uh, they're really, they're really soft uh, silicone, but they do wear out and stretch out. And uh, mine, mine have kind of, they just need to be replaced. And so uh, these little packets of these various little thingies are only five bucks from Amazon. So. I just ordered another one the other day when I got home, and there they are. And I got this ding ding on my on my TV because I have Amazon Fire Cube on my TV, and so I sent Johnny to go um, see what was in the mail. That's not all that was in the mail. I also got um, Happy Mail <laughs> uh, from Amy. It was hooked on Wishing Crochet. I got other cards from her as well. But this has got something um, Amy-fied in here. <laughs> oh, and if you've been around a while, you know what that means. Um, I'm hunting for a pair of scissors. Let's see. I can... Well, Johnny, look on that table next to my bed and see if you see a pair of scissors I have. A little small pair. There we go. Thank you. Alrighty. I think these are children's scissors that I found for a dollar at some point. 
I know I have another pair of scissors in here, but I'd have to dig and it would take too long and I'm not that patient at the moment. <laughs> Y'all know that how that is, right? Okay. And I don't wanna make y'all wait that long to see what is in Amy's package. Whoa. That's weird. I just felt some heat in my arm for a minute. That was weird. Okay. Lord have mercy. What, how did she do this? She tried to make it as small as possible. Mission accomplished. And difficult to get into, mission accomplished. <laughs> well, here's a card. Let's see here. What do we got here? And she writes uh, many letters in her, her cards. <laughs> she would call it a note, I'd call it a mini letter. Oh, how pretty is this? Uh, it says smile look how beautiful that is and she knows that red is my second favorite color so you can't go wrong with me and red and it says created by dd golden so someone handmade this card yep there's my mini letter <laughs> and i'll read that off camera because that's that's a lot sending hugs and treats for the bag brigade. Oh, okay, so there's something for Axel and Theodore in here. Oh, what do you think about that, Axel? He's he's right there. <laughs> Never far from my side since I got home. Oh, it's in a pretty package. Look here. Presentation is everything, and she's always wrapping stuff up and pretty pretty stuff bless my dog's heart they were stuck they're normally used to quite a bit of attention and and love and affection during the day and they were getting none of that while i was in the hospital oh my goodness wouldn't she just a little stinker this ain't for the big brigade. <laughs> this is for me. Look at it, isn't that pretty? It's an ink pen. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Real be beads and everything, extra ink. Wow, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. Huh, I don't think I've ever had no pen like that. That's really pretty. Maybe she just sent love to them. Maybe love was her intention, you know. Give them some of her love. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you, Amy. I will leave Amy's uh, channel link in my description so y'all can go check her out. Um, Cause she sent me many cards while I was in the hospital. I think the first thing I got was this uh, this beautiful postcard. This is from Lake Tahoe. And of course, there's a mini letter on the back. Lots of writing. And uh, so it's got a little chair and everything. There's there's another letter, another uh, card. I don't know what the, if, if there's a special, I feel glitter. Yes. It's just a uh, empty, it's just a regular note card, but it has all these uh, butterflies. And so there's a mini letter inside. <laughs> and she, uh, she did, uh, hold on a second, I'll put this back in properly. And I'll show you, she drew a little, she drew my dogs on the back. <laughs> yep, my dogs, Theodore and Axel. 
And then there's another little card like this. She's, she's been there really good. One of my best friends in the whole world. And then um, I also got some Get Well cards from Patricia in Ohio. I guess this is more of an Easter card, but that's okay. It says, Happ happiness is having someone like you to wish a happy Easter too. Big hug, uh, love, Pat. And she wrote me a sweet little note in here. But here's Snoopy. I like Snoopy and Woodchuck. Very sweet in the little Easter card. Since I spent my Easter in the hospital. But they were, uh, but I had, I had TV in the hospital. I had my own TV in my room. And, um, so I got to see, um, you know, Christian, uh, services. Uh, there was, uh, some cer cer ceremonies and services going on on the TV. And so I got to watch some of those, uh, where scripture was being read and that sort of thing. And so that, that was very, uh, touching to me that I got to read, got to watch that while I was in the hospital. And so I didn't feel completely left out of, you know, the religious aspect of things. And then uh, I got uh, these, these these two cards we got on our way out the door to go to the hospital last Friday. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's been a week. Okay. Um, and so we just grabbed them and took, took them with us. And so I had these with me in the hospital. And one of them is from Kelly from Syracuse, New York. And it's, uh, it says, thinking about you, praying for you, believing in you. And pretty little rose on the front. And it says, dear Amanda, I know you have all the strength you need to make it through. Praying your recovery is speedy, a speedy one, plus that you feel better soon. Big hugs from Syracuse, New York. Love always, your friend Kelly. Kelly's been with me quite a while, and I'm very grateful to her and all my prayer warriors, very much so. And this next one is from Miss Vicki, and she's from Oklahoma. And there it is. <laughs> a golden retriever with a little boo-boo. It says, while you're on the mend, and it says, uh, sending you these wishes that are filled with warmth and care, hoping you'll f feel better and have brighter days to share. Love, prayers, Vicki. And then she wrote me a little, uh, a little side note in here. But thank you so much, Vicki. I really appreciate the... And knowing that these were in my bag, I could look at them whenever I wanted. And... Uh, to pull from the love and the strength and the prayers from my my prayer warriors oh goodness anyway i'm just gonna stick that like that and so uh that's some of my happy mail and then um i got another happy mail yesterday this one's yarn <laughs> yarn happy mail and um not just any yarn some uh, bougie yarn <laughs> when i felt the package i was like oh there's yarn in there and um, this one is uh, from Angela in Kentucky. Now she she's one of them uh, that uh, I believe came over from uh, Juan's channel and bought one of my uh, she bought some mystery bags. And uh, oh, this is soft. Uh, this yarn is a uh, Vitalana Celestial from By Dick Crate. And it's 90% alpaca and 10% tinsel. It's a ran weight, uh, 150 yards, uh, 100 grams. And it says hand, hand wash gently, lay flat to dry. It's from Peru. Uh, I don't know that it said, oh, maybe this is the, maybe Titan is the color. But it is really beautiful. It's in the blue, blue green family there. So it's really beautiful, and there's a also a hand balled, a hand balled of it. 
as well. So, yeah. There's basically two, a hank and a, and a hand balled of it. Because I'm sh pretty sure this is the exact same thing. It looks, visually, it looks the same thing. So, uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then she uh, included this green one. This is a very beautiful green, by the way. Very beautiful green. And uh, this one is, is well, it says Calm Aldine Wools, also by uh, Knit Crate. And this one is 80% wool, 10% silk, and 10% uh, mohair. It says DK weight, 231 yards. Hand wash gently, lay flat to dry. It's also from Peru. Uh, and it just says reflection. So I'm assuming that's what colorway they call that. But that is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And she, uh, she included a card. Real pretty card. It says, just to keep in touch, adopt the peace of nature. Her secret is patience, Emerson. It says, caring about how you're doing and thinking uh, of you often. And she wrote a little private note in here. And another little note in here. There, because I'm terrible. And she explained that she found this notebook for me, too. Only my dog understands me. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. So, the yarn and the card and this notebook. Very nice, happy meal. I feel very privileged that she took the time out to send it to me. And now on to the yarn haul. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to need a box. Hold on a second. Hey, John. I'm going to need an empty box to put this in as I'm showing it. Mm. Okay. I went back to Hobby Lobby today. It's 30% off week. And bought some more cotton because I didn't feel like I had quite enough cotton, <laughs> you know, and retail therapy. Now, yesterday I did buy me some uh, clothes when John and I went to Walmart uh, to do grocery shopping. I moseyed over to the clothes section while he went to uh, food shopping because I was able to get a riding cart. Thank God, because <laughs> I didn't have the energy to do all that walking just yet. My energy is building slowly but surely. But um, I got this shirt, which is, um, it's a, you know, kind of fall back to the 80s. This is Blondie. Um, you know, call, uh, call me. And then uh, I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. <laughs> Those are the songs that come to mind when I think of her anyway. Uh, <laughs> but I got this shirt. I got an ACDC shirt. I got just a regular tank top. And then I got a few cute little uh, dresses. Uh, I don't know what it is about me and dresses, but apparently this summer I'll be wearing dresses. Because <laughs> I, th I thought it looked awfully cute in the first one I ordered. So I said, why not? You know, but uh, they were only like $12, $12 a piece. And they were my size. And I was like, okay. And this, these these t-shirts I thought were uh, a bit small. I didn't know that I was going to be able to wear them right away. I thought I was going to have to lose a little more weight. But then when I grabbed it this morning, I said, well, let's give it a shot. And it fit me right right away. And very comfortably, you know, not, not tight at all. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. Because <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a size 22, you know. Um, but it's, it's, it's still, it's, it's, you know, it's got some room in it, you know. It, it, I thought it was going to be snug, but no, it's not snug at all. Uh, it's near about baggy. So I was like, wow, okay then. So I guess I guess I did lose a little weight in the hospital. I was thinking I might, might have lost a little weight in the hospital because the food was so bad and I wasn't able to eat very much. Um, 
But last night, um, Johnny made tacos, and I was able to eat three tacos, and then I ate um, half a half a Klondike bar. It's no sugar added Klondike bar. Don't nobody get their britches in a wad. <laughs> Don't nobody turn doctor on me. Oh, you're not supposed to have all that sugar, young lady. No, it's no sugar added uh, Klondike bars. I promise. I'm not going off the rails. But I ate a whole three tacos. <laughs> I was actually pretty proud of myself because the last time I tried to eat tacos, I, I ate a half a taco. So uh, I was actually pretty proud of myself that I could eat three tacos. Um, that was that was pretty awesome. I was really tickled with that. So um, yeah, it was, that was pretty awesome. And uh, then I ate half half of a um, a Klondike bar. So, not even half, really. And then I put the rest of it back in the freezer. So, um, and then I just finished eating that with a can of soup. So, a, a small can of soup. Chicken and stars. <laughs> feel like somehow I'm reverting back to childhood and, ha and how, how, how much I can eat. But that's okay. It's okay. As long as I'm still able to sustain myself. Uh, earlier, I made a meal out of um, cut uh, fruit. Um cantaloupe and honeydew that I bought. I bought a, a little, you know, container of, uh, yesterday at Walmart of already cut up cantaloupe and honeydew. And, um, so I've been eating on that a little bit, uh, on and off all day. So, um, yeah, I've been basically making meals out of fruit. So, uh, but hey, it's what, it's what's been able to keep down and, you know, and keep me going. So I'm not mad. <laughs> And canned peaches. Oh, love, love, love canned peaches. Anyhow, I think I got some of this and might have showed this already, this particular yarn. And all this yarn, with the exception of maybe two two skeins, is going to be, uh, I love this cotton. Uh, now, this color is called Brights. And I think I got this before, but I only they only had just a few skeins of it, so I got some more of it. But uh, I'm going to give you the specs on one of them. And then let you know that it's the same on most of them. Uh, it's three ounces, 85 grams, 153 yards, because it's the striped one, 140 meters. It's 100% cotton, four weight. Does recommend a five millimeter knitting needle, 5.5 crochet hook. And uh, let's see, it's 399 normally, but it was 279 because it's 30% off. But uh, this one is called Brights. Yeah, just Brights. And I don't remember how many I got of this one. I got quite a few. I'm just going to stick them over this box. Because I got a couple of spots over here that I'm going to put this stuff in. Um, I cleared out quite a few cubes today in, in totes. So that I could make room for all this cotton that I wanted. Uh, see, yep, that's a bright one. There's two. Oh, no, this is a different color. Okay, same specs, but different color. This one's called Eastern Nova. Yeah, Eastern Nova. This has got more pinks in it. And before I went in the hospital, I uh, saw where um, Jada and Stitches came out with this oh-so-cute bucket hat that she made out of 24-7 cotton. I'm going to make that hat. That is, like, my goal. So, I'm definitely going to be making a hat with some, some, of her hat, some of that hat with some of this yarn. So, but this is really beautiful. Look at the colors just play out so pretty. I don't remember how many I got of those. A few, I got several of those. I'm just putting the duplicates in the, in the box that I had Johnny bring me. Yep, Eastern Nova. Okay. And then this one I shown y'all the other week. Um, but I got more I got more of this one. It's just a stripey and it's just called teal. So yeah. It's kind of like a stonewashed color. It's real pretty. I plan on making a um, a Granny Square um, cardigan 
out of cotton as well because I want cardigans for my dresses that I'm that I bought and one of them happens to be turquoise and so I'm gonna make a turquoise or teal or you know granny square um, cardigan I hadn't quite formulated it in my mind yet but I, that, that's the plan out of cotton And this one is the solid color, so it's got uh, 180 yards and 165 meters instead. But the other specs are the same, and this is just turquoise. I had some of this, I just didn't know how much I had. So I bought more of this. And this color is also the solid color. This is amethyst. Because you know I can't leave my besties out, and both my besties love purple. Amy and Eva both love purple. Now Serena loves pink, among other colors, but she loves pink mostly. And I sent her, in her bags, I sent her some cotton, some pink cotton, some pale pink cotton. Let's see which this one. Okay. Yeah, already showed you those. Yep. Let's see. Yep, there's more of these. <laughs> I was stocking up, can you tell? <laughs> I wasn't playing. I was me I was doing what I do. I bought a lot. And this is deep teal. I think I only had one of these somewhere. It's on. It's in a cube back here now because I already pulled out all my cotton into my boxes. But yes, I love this color too. And then I just grabbed two more of these uh, pearl spun in the jade color. And that's it for my Hobby Lobby haul. I think about 32 skeins of yarn. <laughs> yes, 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 I know. That's what happens. Will paid his rent this week, and that's what I did with it. <laughs> I spent it at Hobby Lobby. Oh, well. The, the bills are paid. The rent's paid. Everything's paid here, so. And we have groceries, and... You know, and there's plenty of money in the bank for whatever we need the rest of the month. So, I wasn't hurting anything by doing that. I knew I could do it, and I did it. So, there there it is. <laughs> now, I just have to move it out of this box into these cubes over here. <sighs> but, it, that probably wait till later after I take a nap. I think I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> it's been a day. And uh, I'm more out. It doesn't take much to wear me out at the moment. Hopefully that will stop happening after I get done with all this uh, IV medicine business. But um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And uh, we're getting the hang of this, uh, giving me this antibody. I told Johnny, I said, by the time we get good at this, it'll be over. <laughs> Which is good. You know, that's fine. You know, um, hopefully it'll be over with anyway. Um, I'm thinking my doctor might order a blood test just to, to uh, you know, check my levels uh, before they remove the um, the midline in my arm um, just to make sure that he doesn't need to order more of that medicine uh, and have me take take it for a few more days. But, uh, I mean, if, it, if he does, he does. You know, I'd rather, you know, take it for as many days as necessary to eradicate the bacteria infection out of out of me um i've long said you know as long as i'm home i can i can manage the rest you know what i mean i can manage the rest so anyhow i hope y'all have a wonderful friday and i hope y'all enjoyed looking at yarn with me and my happy mail and um please remember that i love you and so does jesus and please adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see y'all again very soon. Bye now.